Hi, everyone. It's Guama, and this is Groovy Movies, Episode 2, Favorite Movies from Childhood. So in 2020 and also this year, I've been revisiting a lot of my old childhood favorites, and it's been really nostalgic, but now that like I'm an adult, it's like it's not the same appeal to me as it was when I was a kid, but some of it I still do kind of enjoy. <laughs> But um, so I was born like in the cusp of the millennial and the Gen Z, so like the last year of the millennials and the first year of the Gen Z people. So I grew up like late 90s, early 2000s, and I used to love watching movies. I still do. But when I was a kid, I had to watch them on like VHS tapes, and you know how the VHS tapes were. You had to watch them, and then at the end of them, you had to go back and rewind them. But it didn't really bother me that much because I just I loved watching them anyways. So like when I first got DVDs, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I don't have to rewind it. I can actually do scene selection instead of fast forwarding or going back. Um, my first DVD that I got was Rugrats Go Wild. I guess it's the first one my brother and I got because we shared like a lot of stuff. And I don't know. I like the Rugrats movie. Like I love the Rugrats show, but. I actually didn't like the first Rugrats movie that much because, I don't know, I didn't like how they were like always fighting, but I enjoyed Rugrats in Paris, though. I love that one way much better. But, um, so I was kind of, like, a sneaky kid, I guess, because my parents didn't want me watching, like, grown-up movies. I mean, they weren't, like, super strict about the movies we could watch because some of my favorite movies weren't, like, per, like, kids' movies, per se. Like, I loved Ace Ventura and Airplane and... Um, hot shots and space balls, but so like the R-rated movies, my parents were like, yeah, no. So I'd peek at the TV when my dad was watching some grown-up movies like Pulp Fiction and Braveheart and Saving Private Ryan, and I was like, what's going on? Why is there so much blood? Why? What is happening right now? And my parents were watching a Chucky movie. I think it was Child's Play, and I was like peeking at it. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. But one day, my dad caught me peeking at the Sopranos and he was like oh heck no you are not watching this so I think after he caught me I was like okay I'll just stick to the kids movies and I liked a lot of weird kids movies like I like the Disney and DreamWorks stuff but a lot of the ones I enjoyed were kind of more like under the radar ones like one of my favorite movies when I was a kid was Slappy and the Stinkers I thought it was just so funny it's that movie where those kids are trying to rescue a sea lion from the aquarium they were like, where do we hide him? And <laughs> their poor principal, Mr. Brenway. <laughs> it's really hilarious, I guess, if you wanted to watch something random with your kids. That's kind of, I don't know, a hidden gem. I don't know if it's really a cult classic, per se. And another kind of more obscure movie is Problem Child, which, oh my goodness, my whole family loves that movie. <laughs> Junior is just like the worst kid ever, but he's just so witty and... <laughs> The clown part in particular, my brother and I, we would just watch it over and over because we thought it was so hilarious. <laughs> but I um, I also really liked Space Jam. I watched that one a whole lot. And, of course, I loved Barney, the show, and also the movie Barney's Great Adventure. So there's this bird seed delivery man in it, and he has this amazing contraption in his car where he can make milkshakes and burgers and fries. <laughs> And then I'm like, that would be such an amazing thing to have now, just like a whole fast food restaurant in your car. But then, of course, he's like so busy making all this food that he's not paying attention to his driving. So it's probably not a good idea. You'd probably have to park and then make all that stuff first. <laughs> it's like when you're a kid, it doesn't strike you as that ridiculous. And then you get older and it's like, what? Why are they even doing that? I also really like A Never Ending Story. One of my friends was like, that movie scared me when I was a kid. And I was like, really? I loved it. But what did scare me was the kid, when I was a kid was Ants. And I didn't really watch A Bug's Life until I was like older. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I guess because I don't like bugs that much. But, like, Ants, that scene where there was, like, that headless ant. And I was just like, no, no. Why is that headless ant talking? Like, why is this a kid's movie? So I rewatched it when I was older. Not that long ago, actually. I think I rewatched it back in 2020. And I was like what? Oh, this is kind of bad. Like, the bugs are dying, and what? <laughs> I I don't know. And then I also was scared as a kid by Fantasia. I don't know. I, I heard other people were scared by that one, too, because it was just, like, weird. Like, there wasn't a story, and there were, like, all these weird images going on that, like, no one was talking, and ooh, maybe I was just a kid that scares easily. <laughs> but 
Yeah. Oh, and then um, Disney movies. I really love like Aladdin and Mulan and Lion King and Emperor's New Groove. That was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. I was like five years old at the time. I remember we were walking back from the theater to our car and I was just like, that was so great. And I kept talking about it over and over. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very good time. And of course, I also loved Harry Potter. I was also big in school. You know, we'd read the books and then like talk about the movies. And I actually didn't watch Lord of the Rings when I was a kid, even though they did come out when I was a kid. I didn't watch them until I was in college because my friend and I, we were all into um, Game of Thrones. But, like, me and my other friend, we hadn't seen Lord of the Rings before. So our other friend is like, what's wrong with you? Like, this inspired Game of Thrones. How have you not watched these movies? So we all got together at her house, and we she tried to make us watch them all in one day. But, like, it was like... 2.30 in the morning-ish when we finished the two towers and we're like we can't do another one we have to go to bed so we went to bed and then we watched The Return of the King the next day and it was like where has this been all my life because I remember people kept talking about it but I didn't watch it because when I was a kid I thought they were scary grown up war movies and oh I missed out so <laughs> why well, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or movie in this case <laughs> and I also love Spirited Away um, so the first time I saw it was because our friend lent it to us because he used to like let us borrow like lots of movies because he had a huge movie collection, I guess. And I first like my mom's like, he let us borrow a movie. It's called like Spirit. And I was like, like the horse movie. And then I saw a movie with like a girl on the cover. And I was like, what is this? Like, why is she just standing in a black background? And like, that was one I also kind of judged on its cover. And I watched it and I loved it. And it was such a beautiful story of like friendship and character development. So that's another one. I'm realizing I'm recommending a lot of kids' movies to your parents or maybe if you're younger and you're like, I want to watch some weird older movies. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm older because I'm in my 20s, but <laughs> I guess I'm not that old. And then, of course, when I was a kid, like the high school musical movies also started coming out. And my friend and I used to love singing them. Like for real, we'd go to school and sing them. <laughs> I don't know how we weren't getting in trouble all the time for that. And then there was also like Pirates of the Caribbean, which I guess were kind of grown upish movies. Like, okay, the first time I saw the trailer for The Black Girl, I was so scared. And then I watched them and I'm like, you know what? These actually aren't that bad. And then there was um, Pokemon, the first movie. Oh, I loved Pokemon as a kid. I'd spend hours playing the games. I still love Pokemon. <laughs> but I think I like Pokemon, the movie 2000, better than Pokemon, the first movie. I guess it's because, like, they're actually outside more instead of trapped in the stadium. But it was okay. And, of course, there was Shrek, which was huge when I was a kid. Like, you'd go to school, and that's all we'd want to talk about is Shrek. And then there's Shrek 1, Shrek 2. I didn't like Shrek the 3rd that much. And Shrek Forever After is okay, but Shrek 1 and 2 were my favorites. And then, like, Ice Age was also a thing. There's a whole lot of Ice Age movies, I guess, because they're successful. Sometimes I watch them. I like Curiosity. And they're okay. And I also like Swan Princess and the Care Bear movies. And then Finding Nemo, Toy Story, Toy Story 2. I really love the cheese puff part of Toy Story 2 when Woody's trying to sneak around all the cheese puffs because I don't know I love Cheetos and like cheese puff stuff like that. And I was like, that is like heaven right there, just being surrounded by giant cheese puffs. And so my friends are like, what's wrong with you? That part is so nasty. <laughs> I love it anyway. And I really like Around the World in 80 Days, like that Jackie Chan version. And then when I was older, I read the Jules Verne novel, and it was so adorable. And it's, like, way different <laughs> than the movie is, but I guess that happens with a lot of book to movie adaptations. And then one day my dad bought, um like, a Pierce Brosnan. The, there was a Pierce Brosnan, did you know, version of Around the World in 80 Days. It's like a TV miniseries. And he got it because he knew how much I loved Around the World in 80 Days. So I watched it, and it was adorable. And I was like, oh, Pierce Brosnan, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else, what else? You know, I'm probably talking about how much I love the weird movies. Like, yeah, the Disney princess movies are pretty cool, but I'd rather watch the more adventure Disney movies, kind of like Aladdin. Like, I don't know, I like the story of, like, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, but they're not my favorite Disney movies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, yeah, lots of good stuff. Lots of nostalgia. And... Thanks for listening to me talk about my old childhood memories of watching movies. There's probably some other ones I forgot to discuss. 
I'll probably talk about them later with more kids' movies that I just remembered (laughs) I didn't talk about. But I hope you all have a great day, and thanks for listening. Bye!